Hey, what's happening, folks? Andy here again with another installment of the vlogs. Uh, today's vlogs will mainly be themed around movies and recent movie reviews. Um, the three main areas today are questioned by my friend Naz again, and also one of my other friends uh, who goes by the name of Super Duper Brian. Um, mainly today, the main questions are the psychological effects of basically alien movies um, such as, well, Alien, Signs, Mars Attacks, well probably not Mars Attacks, sorry, um, so just movies like that. Um, the other question was if I think cinema could improve in today's society. Um, so I'll be going into that one a little later as well and to finish things off I will also be giving recent movie reviews on a couple of my favourite movies for right now which are Kick-Ass um, starring uh, Fogo from Superbad and also the other movie is Iron Man 2 um, the sequel from the legendary Tony Stark and of course bringing in Whiplash although he's not mentioned as Whiplash in the movie um, so yeah okay so to start things off my friend Brian um, actually asked if I could discuss the psychological effects of alien abductions now I'm not exactly sure um, about the alien abduction things, however I can possibly discuss the effects of alien movies and the beliefs of aliens or not. Now regardless of whether you believe in aliens or not, there are undeniable proof of alien movies, obviously. Um, aliens, signs, possibly Predator could be classed as that too, uh, just movies simply like that and really the point of these movies the majority of them are seen as well the class is a kind of i suppose thriller horror kind of film um really oof, I don't know. i'm not exactly too sure due to the fact that i myself i don't really believe that I, I believe there may be aliens but I don't believe we have actually witnessed any and I have no idea what we would do if we did actually witness an alien encounter um, however alien movies such as them probably portray the aliens as it's in a very biased view if you ask me because it's mainly supposedly a horror type um, and yet, I really don't think it may be that much of a horror in reality. Not that I can say that for certain, of course. Um, but yeah, basically, I don't really think that aliens could be in that horrifying a way. And once again, movies basically just dramatize everything. My next question comes from my friend Naz again, asking if... I believe that cinema could be improved in today's society. The answer to this one is a very yes and no answer for me. No, not really, because cinema is as uh, physical, like the buildings and the and the shops and the reception and all that inside it. I believe those are fine. However, yes, I do think they can be improved because there has been times before cinemas have gone through a very trend-ish uh, kind of phase where a lot of action movies or a lot of horror movies or a lot of comedy movies are coming out and there are also, whilst those are all coming out at the one time, there are very few of any other kind of movie and so and so the movies that you go to see tend to be on a timed basis whereas really if i were to choose if i if it was up to me basically then i would really have it two or three movies of the same view and then possibly 
one or two of each other kind of movie. Say two or three action movies and then possibly a comedy movie, a horror movie, a thriller movie. Just one of each to satisfy everyone at one time other than people sitting in the house bored and sitting about doing absolutely nothing waiting for the next type of movie to come out in about four months time. Okay, to finish off, I'd like to give two movie reviews of two movies recently out that I think personally are absolutely amazing. Um, the first one is Kick-Ass, um, starring Aaron Johnson as Dave Lozowski, also known as Kick-Ass, and also Christopher Mintz-Plass, I think I pronounced that right, from the movie Superbad and also Role Models. Um, he plays the super villain in it, well, super villain come kind of good guy-ish person, um, Red Mist. Um, personally this movie is amazing due to the fact that I've seen around the web that it brings up a little controversy and also raises a few good questions, for example, exactly why out of millions and millions of superhero fans and people who are addicted to Superman, Batman, Spider-Man, everything with the word man at the end of it, um, why they're addicted to them and yet somehow nobody has ever tried it. Um, now personally I'm not moronic enough to try that because I know I will get my ass handed to me several times. Um, however the question is still raised and a lot of people are, are as, as I've noticed, a lot of people are still kind of asking that question still. Um, but regardless of that, the movie itself is very, very entertaining. There are some good funny bits in it, there's brilliant action in it, and it's an overall feel-good movie. And if you have the time, I would definitely recommend that you go and see it because you will not regret one single second of the entire movie. And finally, I hope you have enjoyed this. I uh, hope you have enjoyed this vlog today and be sure to comment down there, subscribe up there and also add me as a friend or subscribe, well yeah, subscribe. Um, Rate this video, this video 5 stars if you think I've done a really good job, um, please do because I would really appreciate that. And also I shall see you again very soon. Later guys. apologize for not being able to get through, uh, get round to the Iron Man 2 review. Um, sadly this video is a bit longer than expected, so next time around I will do the review first before anything else and then I shall continue on with the video as planned. Um, sorry again and tune in next time.